get some instant analysis. Welcome in CBS Sports Combat Analyst and co-host of Morning Combat, Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell. Women's flyweight champ Juliana Velasquez defends her title as she defeats kickboxing champ Denise Keelholtz via split decision. BC, how did you score this fight? I had it exactly like the judges did. Three rounds to two in favor of the champion Velasquez. I thought Keelholtz was aggressive and certainly in this fight and went a long way in making this as good as we advertised it to be a very tough outing in the first title defense for Juliana Velasquez. But outside of rounds one and five, in which I really thought Keo Holtz did a great job at closing that distance and trying her best to make it a fight, she was stuck to the terms in the middle rounds that were dictated by the champion Velasquez. And this is what Velasquez does so well, control the terms of the fight, the distance, the range, because of how accurate she can counter shot this was really a perfect uh, showcase of that in rounds two, three, and four from my vantage point. Obviously, Keelholtz rallied late, landed a big punch, did her best to keep it close. You had some people online liking the challenger side, but in the end, Juliana Velasquez shows her true worth, gets the big title defense in a division that is starting to get populated with some interesting players. Brian, the Judge Campbell with the split decision there uh, via uh, for Velasquez in favor of her as she remains undefeated. Luke, what did you see from Velasquez in this fight? The great jab, I think, really was the key to everything. You could tell she just had a much larger frame than Keelholz, and you wondered how she was going to use it. And to Brian's point, in the first round, she really didn't. Surprisingly, there wasn't a lot of fainting from either of them. I, I, I was a little bit surprised by that. They were just kind of dueling rather than setting up the shots um, with any kind of faking or camouflage or trickery. But in the end, the jab was big. I thought once it got close, um, she was able to use her knees. She had good circular, angular, um, and even lateral movement at times when she needed to. So really, this was a question of where she was going to position herself, who was going to go first. You'll notice that as the fight wore on, uh, the person who began to initiate the contact was the one who ended up usually doing the best for the most part. A little bit of counter uh, striking from the, the champion in Velasquez. But really the story of the fight to me was the jab, but then behind it some tempo changes, good movement, good distance. Once she found the jab worked and she knew where her range was, uh, that was the key to her success. Velasquez improves to a perfect 7-0 in Bellator. Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell breaking down for us here on CBS Sports HQ. Thank you, man. And for all things combat, check out Morning Combat with Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell. You can watch the series on YouTube, and you can also listen to the podcast on Apple and Spotify. Morning Combat, download and subscribe today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.